Hi students, welcome back. Now, let's go for the short video on example two. This is a bit uh, uh, a bit complex example. For this example, they may ask you to draw pass two sequence network, negative sequence network, and zero sequence network. Okay. So let's see the question first. This question consists of a generator. two sides transformers and then two motors let's see how the complex question is and then let's draw for the positive sequence network negative sequence network and zero sequence network for the circuit now first let us draw the circuit the circuit consists of a generator generator is given to a transformer this transformer is given to a bus and from here it has a transmission line and from this transmission line it has one more transformer from this you have two more systems say this is first motor and this is second motor this all are connected okay now this transformer is star with reactance grounding and the letter denoted here is a d and this transformer is delta and star grounding it has some internal reactance and this is represented with the letter e and it has some internal reactance the line and this has is star grounding with a delta and this is star and with star not now for this circuit let's draw the positive sequence network first and then we will go for the negative sequence network and then we will go for the zero sequence network so the positive sequence network of this circuit can be drawn as as simple as that the first step is driver reference from this reference begin with your begin with your generating system the generator plus that is easy and it is having some reactance after this this denoted letter as d after this it has a transformer transformer also having some reactance so then it is not letter e after this transformer there is a transmission line transmission line have some its internal reactance so this is the letter say this is f this is g so this is f these notations we are taking for our identification purpose that's all after transmission line between f and g there is one more transformer so you insert one more transformer after this if you see there are two motors this is motor number 1 and this is motor number 2 one motor with star other one is motor with star with neutral reactance grounding hence here we in the positive sequence network we are not considering about anything neutral we will neglect this points and directly we will draw this plus easy e e m1 and it it has some internal reactance and another motor 2 plus it has some internal reactance these two motors are connected with this so this point is g so you can directly connect here also this is the pass to sequence network this is a generator 1 this is motor 1 and this is motor 2 in the similar fashion if you go for the negative sequence network this is as simple as that so just remove these three points then it will become the negative sequence network draw the same network and this is will become d this is e this is f this is g and it has two motors so these two are like i'll reckon right these two are connected like this so as simple as that now the important point we are going to discuss the third one that is zero sequence network so here the people should not confuse once again i'm telling you so let's start here also again with this transmission line in the middle first draw the reference bus with this reference bus connect the star neutral this star neutral these two are connected to the transmission line hence as simple as that this 
transformer reactance is connected to reference bus neutral in the sense it is grounded in the sense the reference it is connected to reference this is connected to the transmission line and this also connected to this one after which here the generator is delta connected delta means it's opening but one end of the generator is connected to ground so 3zn z0 and this is left open because this is delta connected similar fashion here one one is one is left open other one is ground connected so let's draw the second one other one is ground connected with the zn and uh, 3zn and z0 it is not connected to this one because this is delta connected other one is other one is directly connected but it is either it is not connected to ground or it is not connected to system so this is how this is how the zero sequence network can be drawn for this system so this is as simple as that now in the xs3 let's go into a bit depth compared to now so let's see how it works